so here is my vertical takeoff tube now uh, in long term this is just one piece of a bigger project uh, in the bigger project I don't know if I'll do a delta wing or another kind of plane but I'd make a plane and put this in the middle of it and then there would be a big servo that rotates it sideways so this would be vertical with the wing coming out like that or the fuselage or whatever and then this would pick the whole plane up vertical takeoff and then on a big servo it would pivot sideways and so the that the motor would be giving the plane thrust to go forward uh... now i don't know if i'd do a plane like this or just put this in the middle of a big delta wing uh... what do you think write it in the comments so one more thing with this uh... when i'm running it for about i don't know twenty seconds the esc gets blazing hot now it's a thirty five to forty amp esc that's plenty for this motor but then I've got all the gyros and servos and stuff which hogs up a lot of power so that's heating up the ESC so from Hobby King I just bought a new 40 amp ESC same same amps but uh, it has a 4 amp built in BEC so that'll keep it cooler so on the big project where this is on an airplane uh, this motor probably wouldn't be powerful enough so I'd use this motor instead now this spins an 11 inch prop, this is a 12 inch prop. So this is a 500 watt motor. It was the one on my big Stingray Power Glider number two. Uh, so it would be a bigger tube. And this right here is the same ESC as in there, for 35 to 40 amp. And uh, that's barely enough to run this motor. Like you could only run it on full power for like 30 seconds at a time. So I also bought a 60 amp ESC. Oh, and that also has a 3 amp BEC, so that'll be enough to handle all the gyros and servos on the big plane. Now, I also bought some big servos. Uh, they have like uh, 12 kilograms per like square inch or something like that, uh, but they're pretty strong to move this whole thing sideways. It's a, uh, it's a Metal Gear servo, servo. Uh, and I don't want the servo just to move it really fast like that, because the servo moves pretty fast, so I bought another little thing that will slow it down so instead of just snapping like that it'll move slower like that uh, so that will help it for moving slower so on this tube when it's in the airplane there will be elevons like that one and that one and the reason I want to do a delta wing is because I can right before all right there's an elevon splitter right there and then the two servos the two wires that go out of it go to gyros and right before they go to the gyros I'll put them on uh, Y harnesses and each one will go to elevons on the plane so the elevons on here will move as this will move at the same time as the elevons on the plane that way I can still fly the plane not just using uh, these but they won't be gyro stabilized because the gyros here are totally to their fullest throw like they're moving the control service is the most that they can and I don't want that on the on the delta wing because that would probably give it uh, gyro wobbles so uh, the kind of project that I'm doing I don't I still don't know if I'm doing a delta wing or the other kind of plane like this but whichever one I do uh, it'll have to be pretty big big enough to fit a 12 inch cylinder in the middle I think it'll be a bit simpler if I do a delta wing, I'd cut it out of that kind of foam. A little update on the vertical takeoff project, now I'll talk a little bit about this park jet. Uh, so, right now I'm just making it like a park jet, like a simple park jet like that or something, just with Elevon's uh, 221206 motor. But if this thing flies really good, oh also a uh, lead feather, I think you made these plans, so thanks for that. But uh, if this thing flies really good. I'll take a 60 millimeter duct fan or 64 millimeter like that one and stick it right smack in the middle on the center of gravity and I'll, that, I'll plug that into the gear channel on my radio and then when I flip a switch that'll be mixed with the throttle so when I'm coming in I can flip the switch the duct fan will turn on give it thrust right on the center of gravity but it'll still be, be stabilized by these things I'll put them on a gyro. So I'll come in and that'll just kind of give it more lift. Also with the airflow flowing over these. And I think that won't be able to do a vertical landing, but it'll make it a lot shorter landing. So 
There's a short landing project. Now, neither of my RC space shuttles worked, uh, and I haven't really built something that successful with this duct fan yet, so I built this. It's like a little jet kind of thing. Batteries in here, simple with Elevons, 64 millimeter duct fan, 35, 40 amp ESC. Uh, pretty simple. I'll fly this whenever I get a chance, probably Saturday. So I'm gonna go fly this too, but once the wind stops, once the wind and the rain stops, so. That's a little update. Thanks for watching. Bye.